Sophia says, is it necessary to do the aqiqah of the newborn on the seventh day? I heard it can also be done on the 14th and on the 21st. Is it authentic? And what if this was not done by the parents? Must we do it ourselves when we grow up and have money? Aqiqah is a highly recommended ritual in Islam. It's a sacrifice that we slaughter once a child is born as a form of gratitude to Allah Azza wa Jal. One ram or sheep or goat for a female baby or two for a male child, a newborn. Now, having said that, the Prophet said, alayhi salatu every newborn is pawned by his aqiqa. He's related to his aqiqa. He won't be set free. He won't be beneficial to his parents until his aqiqa is slaughtered. If a person is unable to do that financially and he passes away and his child who was supposed to have this aqiqa grows up and wants to do it, then this is okay. There's no problem in that, inshallah. What is the best time to do it? The hadith stated that it is best to be done on the seventh day of the child's birth. And this means that it's a, da a day prior to the day the child was born in. So if the child was born on a Monday, the aqiqah should be on a Sunday. If he was born on a Thursday, it should be on a Wednesday, a day earlier. This is the seventh day. What happens if a person is unable to do it on that particular seventh day? Are the multiplication of 7, 14, 21 valid? There is no authentic hadith backing it up. However, Imam Ahmed said that this is best. Due to the fact that there were weak hadiths backing it up, but... There is nothing authentic. So if you miss the seventh day, you can do it any day. And it's not an obligation to do it on the seventh day. It is a highly recommended sunnah and Allah Azza wa knows best.